emotional damage. Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Michelangelo here, bringing you another video. So the time has come. Oh boy, do I love Sundays. Yukakuhen, Kimetsu no Yaiba, episode 7, Transformation. These two right here, last week, put in that work, bro. Tanjiro and Nezuko put in that work, bro. Ta they left Daki leaking, especially Nezuko, towards the end of the episode, bro. Like, my goodness. I've never seen Tanjiro like that before. You know, Daki was talking some trash and then released her blood demon art, you know? Kekijutsu! You know, and then she started talking trash trash and talking about how demons are beautiful, demons are the superior race. You know, this is the end for you, isn't it, Tanjiro? You know, sayonara? I'm gonna cut you with my eight-layered obi slash. Tanjiro said, bet? Hinokami Kagura, shakotsu enyo. At that moment, he proceeded to cook Daki with the Hinokami Kagura Shakotsu Enyo. Burning Bones Summer Sun, which is such an epic technique and everything. But anyway, to talk more on, um, you know, the whole situation with Tanjiro, I want to give a huge shout out to Mori Jin. Shout out to you, bro, uh, for letting me know um, about, you know, the whole situation regarding Tanjiro. Because it wasn't necessarily explained in the anime as much, but he let me know in chapter 82, um, of which last week's episode was adapted from, um, you know, the mangaka went, you know, in depth in regards to what Tanjiro like that whole you know mode that he was in is exactly and uh morijin says here uh some info uh which the anime did not include um in last week's episode in chapter 82 of the manga which this ep um last week's episode was adapted from there was something else the author told us about regarding the situation of tanjiro when he uh was about to slice daki's head it was said in the chapter that humans have two limits the first one is the stamina limit which tanjiro did mention a little bit about like when he was uh you know trying to catch his breath and everything and he mentioned how he's exceeded his stamina limit and i'm, I'm I'm hoping that um, I'm going to give the anime the benefit of the doubt and assume that they're going to dive deeper into that particular sort of, um, you know, power boost and everything. And the second one is the life limit. Tanjiro was about to exceed his life limit, which means that if his sister had not told him to breathe in that moment, then he would have simply died. Unfortunately, the anime skipped this explanation, but you can always check out chapter 82. Thank you so much for the information, Mori. You see, this right here, this is a very considerate manga reader. You know, there's some people who come in here and start telling me how the series ends, what happens, who the upper moon demons are, and I'm just like, bro. Bro, I didn't ask you to tell me. Why don't you let me figure it out, right? Like, wh why don't you... What's the point of coming to my reaction to watch me watch this for the first time and see my surprise and, you know, you just ruin everything by telling me how the story ends? Like, wait, wait, wait. anyway, I don't want to rant in this particular video. But uh, thank you so much once again, Morijin. You know, I really, really appreciate it. And also, we got um, a little bit of a flashback, um, you know, uh, w which was... It was it was a fl it was Muzan's flashback, but we saw it through Daki's eyes and everything, which is really interesting uh, because there was a parallel between, um, you know, Tanjiro and the mystery swordsman who have a theory about but we saw Daki's you know trembling in fear or rather Muzan cells you know that are in Daki were trembling in fear you know having experienced um you know uh fighting that mystery swordsman uh, with the Hanafuda earrings like a long time ago who I found out is actually this is gonna be mind-blowing Vo is voiced by Kakashi. Kakashi Sensei's Japanese voice actor is voicing him, which is crazy. Shout out to Mizuho and Aiko Sensei for letting me know about that. That that is that. Those are three three Naruto actors so far. We we, we got Rengoku, um, the Rengoku's voice actor who voices uh, Sai in Naruto. We got Akaza, you know, who's you know Japanese voice actor is Gara. Now we have Kakashi who's voicing this mystery swordsman that I have no idea who he is, and that that's great. I cannot wait to see him in the future and find out more about him. But it was such an epic moment, you know. Nani ga tanoshi. Nani ga omoshiroi inochi wo nanda to omotte irunda doushite wakaranai doushite wasureru that bro that moment was so epic the way he said that man it's crazy how tanjiro like sort of said the same thing and it left daki feeling literally ch left her with chills she was shaking bro but i have a theory regarding him because i feel like Potentially, okay, going back to Mugen Train, when we saw all the silhouettes of some of the upper moons, there was one who looked exactly like the swordsman we saw, like, last in, in last week's episode, you know, like, with the hair and everything, and... And honestly, if I'm right about this particular theory I have in my head, this is very smart on Muzan's part, you know? If he managed to recruit the one person who is a threat to him and make him an upper, you know, rank demon in a sense because one, one, I, I remember seeing the silhouettes and one of those, um, you know, upper moon demons looked like a swordsman and he had the same hairstyle as, you know, the, the, you know, the swordsman that we saw in last week's episode and everything. Like, if Muzan managed to find a way to recruit him and make him an upper, you know, rank demon, that's very smart. So that's practically my theory. I feel like that swordsman could be 
you know, one of the upper demons. You know, that's just my theory and everything. But now, unfortunately, during the fight, Tanjiro reached his limit. Then the lovely Nezuko-chan decided to come through and tag in, but she didn't tag in with her hand. She tagged in with her foot right to Daki's head, bro, and we love to see it. <laughs> and then we got to see her regeneration accelerate, which is so awesome, and then her transformation with the leaves and everything and the horn. Bro, this episode is gonna be so awesome, and I cannot wait to see how everything plays out, man. It's gonna be really, really epic. Meanwhile, Tengen, Inosuke, and Zenitsu are still on the way, so I'm hoping maybe in this particular episode they arrive and help out Nezuko to fight Daki but you know honestly the way Nezuko left Daki leaking I honestly feel like Tengen, Inosuke and Zenitsu are gonna get there and the, the fight is pr practically gonna be over. Nezuko is she's got this right but even you know demons can't necessarily kill each other unless Nezuko fights her till dawn and then finds a way to like you know sort of you know burn her you know in a way without getting burnt herself you know anyway I'm excited for this particular episode ladies and gentlemen so I've talked enough without any further ado let's jump right in. Alright, three, two, one, go. Bro, I'm so hyped for this episode, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see Nezuko in action. I don't know if Tengen, Inosuke, and Zenitsu are gonna make it in time. But I'm, I'm overall excited. Tanjiro right now is down for the count. I don't know if he's done completely or if he's gonna come back. We shall see. But overall, I'm excited. I cannot wait to see how things play out. We still haven't even seen the other demon yet that we, we see in the outro. I mean, outro, my goodness, intro. He hasn't, he or she hasn't showed up yet, so I, I, I cannot wait to see how things play out, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Alright, here we go, episode 7, transformation, oh, you see the, the leaves, oh, Nezuko's leaves and everything for the title, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, I'm hyped, I'm hyped, I'm here. Yo, she is stomping on her, bro, then I chopped off piercing my back. She regenerated that fast, Nezuko! Oh, look, look at Nezuko's toes, oh! Bro! Look at her! My god! What, she cut her head off! But it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna kill her though, right? Bro, Nezuko! Yo! Bro, look at her! That's not gonna kill her. I mean, a demon can't kill a demon. Yo, yo, yo. What is going on with her blood? Her blood congee. Exploding blood! Exploding blood! Oh my god! Her blood demon art! Bro, you didn't see that coming, did you, Ducky? Wait, what? Oh, is this her flashback? Her memories? It must have triggered something. Damn, my god! Nezuko! Oh my god! Yo! Look at her! Nezuko is insane! Oh my god! Look at all! Oh. Bro! Who? I'm, I'm scared, bro. We always see Nezuko as this cute, you know, person, but look at her! She has embraced her demon side, bro! Oh my god! Yo! Oh my god! Bro! Yo! My heart right now, man. I'm afraid for Daki. I'm afraid for- uh. Oh no. Wait, did she hurt those people? Nezuko. Damn, I think she went a little too far. Nezuko- Is this gonna kinda mess with her mind? It's gonna mess with her mind, isn't it? Cause she's not supposed to hurt humans. Yo, 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 Nezuko, chill! Wait, please tell me she's not gonna kill this person. Please tell me she's not gonna- No! Nez- Tanjiro! Tanjiro, you have to stop her! Oh my god! Bro! Yo! Yo! She was gonna devour her! You guys know if, if, if Nezuko devours a human, both Tanjiro 
Giyu and Uroko Daki have to commit seppuku. Oh my god. How is he gonna stop her? Okay, Tengen, Inosuke, Zenichu, somebody has to say- Somebody has to- Oh! Oh my god! She leaped with Tanjiro on her back to the top floor! Bro! This room- Daki is- Oh my god! Look at what Nezuko did to her! She's over here looking like Two-Face! Yo! Oh yeah, these people are- I don't- I, I don't know how to- They have Tengen, Zenitsu, Inosuke! So they have to come through, man! Tanjiro is cornered right now, he can- If he lets now- oh, Tengen, yes! Let's go! Let's freaking go! Moha de da. Yo, he's finally here. Let's go! <laughs> is she becoming a flashy demon? Oh my god, Tengen is finally here! Yo! Uh oh. <laughs> What's the sorry state? Oh my god! <laughs> wow, to become a flashy demon? Really, Tengen? Finally! <laughs> Finally, it's time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not talking to you. Damn. Oh my, get lost. You're no upper rank demon. Damn, the disrespect. Since you're too- Damn! You're not the one I've been searching- Wait. Wait, what? Bro! The disrespect! Oh! Wait, what? Hold up, are you telling me Tengen cut her head right as he arrived? No. Yo, chill. Are you telling me Tengen cut her head right when he arrived? Did Tengen just... So, wait, so, wait, what? How, what did he mean by she's not the upper rank demon? Did Tengen do that? He's the one who did it! <laughs> Wait, so if Daki's not the upper rank demon, then who is it? Bro, what is going on? Who start acting cranky, don't belong in the battlefield? Just be unflashy and, and sing her a lullaby or something? Damn. Oh! What is going on in this episode, man? I, I'm so confused. What is he gonna do? Ma mother, oh. Yo. Is he actually gonna sing her a lullaby? Is he? Hashabai? Baby bunny on the hill? Oh! Tell me why your eyes are so very lo- Is he actually singing? Is this gonna work? Bro- Oh! It's working! Oh. Bro! Yes! She's seeing the light! There we go! Come back to us, Nezuko. Come back to us. Oh, this is beautiful. Tanjiro, don't you start crying too. Oh, Nezuko-chan! Oh. oh, she's... Oh! She's going back to normal. She's going back to her younger state. Oh, oh, oh my god! Okay, she's going back to sleep, bro. My god, I have never seen Nezuko... If Nezuko masters that power, that's gonna be a problem. Okay, uh, going going back to I can't believe you had the girl to behead me. You good? How is she not dead? How is she not dead? Just dying. Oh my unflashy death. How is she? In the first place you said I wasn't an upper rank, didn't you? What did that mean? Because you can't be. Then why is your head in your hands? That's be Oh my god! Did you- <laughs> How is she not dead? Is she really trying to justify herself? <laughs> He's not buying it! Wait, Doc, are you- is she crying? What is going on right now? What? 
She's throwing a tantrum. You've got. I, I'm surprised too! Bro, what is going on here? Her body's not disintegrating even now. Exactly! I'm, 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 I'm thinking to myself, how is she not dead yet? Now, now that I think about it, in the previous episode, brother? Oh! Oh my! Oh my god! Oh my god! Bro! Ducky has a brother? Oh my god! That's him, isn't it? That's him! The demon that we saw in the opening! He was attached to Ducky this whole time! She didn't even die even after I beheaded her! Who's that other one that emerged from her back? What the hell is going on? Oh my god! Bro! Bro! Bro, I am trembling right- Tengen! Tengen! Wait! Is he the upper six? So it's not him, it's not Daki? He cut Tengen! Even though I was going for the kill, good for you, man. Oh my god! What, who is he? He hurt Tengen! Bro! Oh my god! I like your skin too. Not a blemish birthmark or scar to, And you have some meat on your bones too. Oh my god. So is he the dropper six? What a plot twist, man! What is his name? What? This guy's insane! It's real- What a shift in personality. Daki was so frightening before, but now seeing her crying like this? And Tengen is bleeding, bro! The bleeding down his eye reminds me so much of what happened to Rengoku. Bro, so is he the true upper six? Tengen, you got this, buddy. Oh my god, you're going to spin round and round when you die. Because my- Gyotaro! So he is the upper six! Come on, Tengen! Come on, Tengen! You got this, buddy! Sickles! So his weapons are sickles, okay. So they're not the same weapon as the belt demons. So the sickles are like boomerangs in a way. Bruh. Come on. Ah, oh, finally! They're here, Inosuke and Tenitsu! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Yeah, he... Never mind that, Tanjiro! Go ahead, Inosuke. Go berserk, Inosuke. Bro, this episode is insane. You really are a good-looking guy. Bro, who- Gyotaro is insane. Tengen protected those humans behind him from the sickles. Bro, look at him bleeding. Oh my god. Come on, Tengen. You got this, buddy. You got this. Did you just say you had three wives? Uh-oh. 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 What is wrong with this guy? The way he's scratching himself, it reminds me so much of Shigaraki. Oh my god! Blood demon heart! Flying blood sickles! Come on, Tengen! Slashes of blood like thin blades. And this many of them. I can't handle them all while protecting these people. Oh! Yo! He dropped some smoke bombs? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What? They're still. He can bend the blood? Bro! Yo! Tengen! Come on, buddy, you got this! The episode is insane! So he can control the slashes of blood slashes that keep moving until they hit their target and explode? Those siblings. The sister didn't die even after she was. That's crazy to me! Yeah, it's unreal, exactly! Can I destroy them both if I behead them, bro? How do you defeat her? Which means last episode, if Tanjiro. If Tanjiro cut her head off, it wouldn't have worked. From what I can hear, most of the people upstairs... Oh, so it's... The building is, is free. Oh! Yo! Tengen! Bro, that was dope. Nice. I can tell it's not going to be a walk in the park. 
Oh my god, look at Tengen, bro. Daki protected Gyotaro, right? With the Obi? I thought so. About... Is that where two people... There are two people in one? How does that even... What? Oh my god! Why is it over, bro? Yo! Oh my god! Oh my god, why? Why is it over? Why? Please, who you watch and tell me why it's over? Yo! What an um what that was such an unbelievable plot twist! We I thought Daki was up for six, but there are two people in one Gyotaro! Yeah bro! Yo! Yo! Gyotaro is a problem. The fact that Tengen, our boy right here, he wasn't expecting that and he left him bleeding. The way he's bleeding, it reminds me so much of how Rengoku was bleeding. When Akaza cut his um his forehead. What is it with these demons are going after the forehead, bro? Like, you know, cutting people's forehead, like bro. Anyway, Tengen, I really hope he can do this, man. I really hope he can. Honestly. Like, bro, Inosuke and Zenitsu have to help him while Tanjiro goes to put Nezuko back to sleep in the box and everything. And speaking of Nezuko, I've never seen her insane like that. Bro. If she masters that power, she's gonna be insane. And the fact that her blood demon art, like like Daki said, affects demons, and it takes longer for them to heal from that attack, the Kekijutsu buckets, like the, the you know, exploding blood technique, that's a problem. I feel like it has to do with something of the, the Kamado bloodline in a way. Like, there's something about them, you know, that moves on fear so much. I think that's why he went after Tanjiro's family and killed majority of them, like, in the beginning of the show. What is our Taisho secret for the day? Nin Nin! Today we're starting off with a Taisho secret. Uh huh. Ever since she was a child, Nezuko's been an angel. She's never been unreasonable in her life either. Even when our grandmother died and when our father died. She's always told our younger siblings the same thing. Aww. Since neither our grandmother nor our father can rest easy, we're, we're always crying. Let's just cry our eyes out today and then be strong. Let's keep smiling, okay? Aww. Bro, she's so Nezuko child. Episode 8 Gathering. Nezuko really is the best. Now to be continued, bro. Oh my freaking god. This episode was insane, bro. What an insane episode. What a twist. Like one minute we're thinking that Daki is the upper six, but the true, well, there are two people in one, but the true upper six demon is actually Gyotaro? Bro, are you kidding me? Yo, and it's it's it popped me because I, I, I was thinking to myself, and it, and it took a while to hit me. When Tengen came through and cut her head off, I'm thinking to myself, why is she not disintegrating? You know, how is she still talking, you know, to Tengen and throwing a tantrum? And you know, the, the shift in her personality and crying like a little girl? Like we got a little bit of a taste of her backstory. Like when Nezuko burnt her, like she got a little bit of her, um, like memories from her when she was a human and the suffering she went through. And I cannot wait to see her backstory. But bro, are you kidding me? Yo, Gyotaro is a problem. I cannot wait for the next episode. We still never saw Tengen use any other um otono kokyu techniques but i'm i'm, I'm sure and next week he has to he has to he's already bleeding and i, I just i bro if Te i'm just gonna say this right now if they kill off tengen i'm gonna be pissed off bro if this is what we have to expect every single season in regards to you know some hashira like you know i just hope Ten i hope tengen is able to do it i really hope they have to take after what happened in mugen train they have to take a w they really really do bro they really do i'm just gonna put that out there right now i'm not gonna read the comment section of this video because i know some of you are gonna answer that question for me which i want to avoid and i want you guys you know to experience this with me i'm an anime only watcher so i want to be surprised like you see that 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 stuff with gyotaro caught me way off guard bro are you kidding me i wasn't expecting that they'd be two in one yeah Yo! Oh my god, man. What a fantastic episode. What an absolutely fantastic episode. Guys, feel free to speak your minds in the comment section. I, 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 bro, this episode was absolutely insane. I cannot wait for next week, episode 8 gathering. But if you enjoyed my reaction to this particular banger of an episode, this one was hype. Please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It really does help out a lot. Also, give the video a thumbs up for the hype of this particular episode as well. I'd really appreciate that. My, my, my gosh. I'm even stammering a little bit, man. Like, bro, I, I can't even speak. Yo, Gyotaro is a problem. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future reaction videos, live streams, or walkthroughs. Follow me on my social media, Twitter and Instagram. Links will be down below in the description of this particular video. Shout out to my Patreons right here on screen. You can become a Patreon yourself by clicking the link in the description down below to support your boy. And you'll always get a shout out in every single one of my videos. But until then, guys, please do me a favor. Take care of each other. Peace out. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.